cookie? I have a cookie, bro. No, I'm good, man. You take it. It's your cookie. Ben, my shower. It's your cookie. So Dude, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Whoa. Well, if it makes you feel any better, you look majestic. There's a beautiful wave for me out there. This place is awesome. <laughs> what a beautiful spot. A little storm happening on the top of the mountain over there. Whoa. It's yeah, the storm is just passing right over us. The first time I've seen clouds in six days. Have you been here now? Yeah, I have. I fucking don't know. I've been here longer though. Yeah, it feels like a long time. So it'll be five nights here on this island, one night over there. Where did we stay? Two this nights. This place is so fucking beautiful. We stayed two nights. Yeah. Two nights over there. Yeah, that's where the dude pissed himself when he was sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> that was so fucking funny. Glenn, tell the story. Well, it's a very religious style hostel, so the the old the elders of the group they don't appreciate drinking, and they don't appreciate when you bring booze to the local boys. You know the guys guys in our age. No, I think it was the homebrew they made. It was the local boys homebrew? giving the tourists the oh, the booze. One way or it was like another, moonshine. One way or another, those guys got wasted. Yeah, they got apparently. <laughs> where was the guy from? Uh, no British idea. British or South African? He was the guy who. Asked me if I were to be a fruit, what fruit would I be? And I said a banana. And he asked me why. And I said, because I live life unpeeled. <laughs> well, He's uh, like, you must have been asked that one before. I'm like, yeah. So, uh, yeah, they, apparently they went drinking at the top of the hill after dinner. And from what I hear, the guy took about 30 minutes to get down off the hill, crawling through the bushes. From there, he made it to his bunk where he was sleeping above his girlfriend. Some point in the middle of the night, he gets off of his bunk, beside his bed, whips it out and starts pissing all over. Waking up the entire 16 bed dorm, his girlfriend starts pushing him out the door, like, what the fuck are you doing? Get the fuck out. Everybody's awake, there's multiple people moving things around, trying to make sure that their shit's not pissed on. Then when they say, well, what do you have to say for yourself? His response is, Stop yelling at me, I just took a piss. Not apologetic at all. I knew that it was on the other side of the room as well as camp. So like, we just it's stayed just in our a bed. piss, mate. It's just a piss. It's just a piss, mate. Oh. Yeah, that was... I, so, I was just laying in bed, I was woken up by the sound of... It actually sounded like he was peeing while he was sleeping from the top bunk. And it like, just showered all over the place. That's what it sounded like, he was like... It was a loud urination, like it must have pooled up or something. <laughs> it just waterfalled off his bed, but it Luckily was funny. on the other side of the room. <laughs> yeah. 180! Oh! Goodbye, Glenn. Off into the sunset he goes. So there's actually a wave that's forming now. And it's a good right. Big overhead barrels, Sammy was saying. And it's in the perfect spot. I'm so stoked. There's a lot of New Zealand beaches to discover. There sure are. Glenn's taking off today. I'm going to stay for another day and edit some footage to the Coconut Beach Boys little music video put together, I'm going to put together. Um, that he's going off to New Zealand for about a month. I'm heading off to Fanning and he's probably going to meet me out there. So, probably won't be the last time we see each other. Definitely not. Yeah. So, uh, last night for sunset, um, when Glenn paddled out, I was going to stay back and film it, but I was like, no, I'm going to go out with them. So I left my camera here and grabbed the surfboard and paddled out there, and it was the most epic sunset I've ever experienced in my entire life. It started dumping down rain as I was 
approaching the waves and the sun was just right there on the horizon below the clouds and it was so trippy looking at the sun as it's pouring down rain and the waves coming over and I'm like eye level with the sun as it's going below the horizon and it was the most beautiful thing I've experienced in a long time. It was it was a very surreal moment. I didn't get it on film or anything but um, it was one of those times where I'm like no camera here, this is just gonna be me and the, the universe. Um, it, was, it was good. And I caught, I, I paddled all the way out there, the waves weren't the best, but it, it got pitch black and we were out there and it's a sharky place, so I caught one wave and took it in, paddled back, and now we're dropping Glenn off at the ferry, so it's the end of this adventure and on to the next one, I guess. Okay, yeah. man. Yeah, seriously. Thank you. All right, buddy, give me a sweaty man hug. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Take care, yeah. buddy. We'll see you in a couple months, maybe. Take care. It's been good. Bye, Glenn. Sad farewell. So my unexpected trip to Fiji is now coming to an end. Today I'm leaving the Yasawas. Sadly, I really enjoyed it here. I had an incredible stay. No intention of coming to Fiji, but I'm so glad that worked out, so I did. Um, and I've decided to go to Christmas Island uh, tomorrow, and then to Fanning, rather than going to Tarawa. It's because the flights to Tarawa are full, and if I don't get on on Thursday, then I have to stay another week in Fiji. And the loads getting back to Christmas next week are terrible, so it would be a big gamble. Uh, to get stuck for a long time. I've been stuck long enough, so I'm just gonna go to Fanning. Maybe go to Taro on the way back. Last night was um, pretty incredible. I really wish I would have filmed it, but I took a whole day to put together the Coconut Beach Boys music video uh, for a bunch of local guys here who are so cool. And I took it over there and uh, during a kava ceremony, played them the video and he got me pretty stoned and it was fantastic but um they were so stoked so ecstatic uh to see that video and the, the lead singer who wrote the song which was about this island you know, it looked like he was starting to tear up and it was it was awesome like he was he looked like he was loving it and so it was a very incredible experience to be able to share that with uh, the local people here and I'm so excited to come back because I have such a cool group of friends here now. And I'm definitely coming back next time with a kiteboard set up of my own. But for now, I'm going off to Fanny. Not too upset about it. It's going to be fun. <laughs> uh, insufficient funds. I've been in Fiji for too long. This is the Rendezvous Surf Camp, uh, home of the Access Point Cloud Break. World class surfing in Fiji, baby. Oh, yeah. My 
made it to the rendezvous surf camp after a long ass day of traveling. Um, so another flight filled up. I went to the airport for the third time to try for a third flight. And it's the third week and it was full too and overbooked until next week. So I'm stuck here another week. Um, and that next flight's looking pretty full too. I was gonna go to Tarawa, but now since it's been so long, I'm just gonna try to get back to Christmas and get back to fanning, do a bunch of surfing and filming and uh, maybe go to Tarawa on my way back home. But um, yeah, I figured I might as well come check out the, the rendezvous surf camp since I have another week and I'm out of money. So there's a world-class surf break called Cloud Break that's like super close, uh, but it costs like 160 Fijian with board rental and getting a boat out there. and So that's a lot of money. It's like 90 or 80 American. And I am flat broke, so I'll be surfing a lot in fanning, so I'm debating whether I'm going to go or not, but I probably will. Look at the papaya trees. Huh. So today, I gotta do something really cool. I gotta uh, surf cloud break, which is like this, uh, you know, kind of legendary surf spot in Fiji. I actually didn't know about it till I came here, but apparently it's world class and professionals from around the world coming to surf it and it was a perfect left absolutely incredible um, <laughs> I've only been surfing a shortboard now for about two months and that was the last year when I was on a fanning and a couple weeks before I came on this trip to Fiji and Kauai I got to do some surfing as well but uh, I'm by no means an expert and cloud break is a big fast wave and so when I got there, I whipped up my camera, got a couple of videos real quick of like the first set that came through. They weren't even the, it wasn't nearly the biggest set of the day. Um, and I, as soon as I got some shots, I grabbed my board and jumped in the water and paddled out there. And there were a few times I was just scared shitless, like just paddling over the, fa or the face of these massive waves and just barely making it over the top and I actually got tumbled by a few. I tried to duck dive under it, it just grabbed me and, go, whoosh, and it's crashing onto a really shallow reef and it's just a sketchy big wave. And um, 
I'm by no means qualified to be surfing there, but I was. And it was on a board shorter than I've ever surfed before. I had a rent one from this place since all my boards are on Christmas Island. Um, anyways, when I get to fanning, I plan on just surfing like every day for the four months that I'll be living out there, or however long I'll be out there, um, and just getting pretty good at surfing, devoting my that period of my life to it, um, and can continue to do so throughout the years at my little house down there, and um, yeah, film it. I'm gonna document it and my progression into surfing because it's a really epic sport. Um, I, and I, I really enjoy doing it. It seems to be safer than speed flying, but it's it's can be terrifying and beautiful and awesome all at the same time. So it's it's something I have fallen in love with, quite frankly, and would love to document it. So yeah, it's gonna be an exciting time. So I'm gonna try to fly out this Wednesday to Clisimas. Uh, and then to fanning from there. Um, the loads are looking okay. I've missed three flights so far. They've all filled up and I'm flying standby. They've all filled up and I've missed every single one. And so I've, there's only one flight a week going to Tarawa. And so I've ended up spending three weeks here in Fiji unexpectedly. Three hour layover turned into three weeks and it might actually be another week because the loads are looking really full this time around as well. And there's a decent chance we won't be able to get on. In that case, I'll do some more exploring around Fiji, but I really want to get to fanning because I'm completely out of money. <laughs> like, I'm broke. I was planning on just, you know, going out there because I don't need any money out there and filming and I'm getting some decent amount of pressure, my family to find a way to make a living. But to be honest, I just love making videos and doing my thing. and. I don't really want to have to deal with the bullshit of the world and you know lots of people don't but I've decided not to and this is my way of avoiding it all building a local house on a remote island in the Pacific and just saying fuck it I'm living off the land in a traditional manner in a way that works way better for me at least probably everyone else but definitely for me um, and I'm stoked for it it's going to be so much fun what a beautiful place. Look at this tree. Oh, one more thing. This is um, a sugarcane railroad. It They push big sugarcane cargoes or whatever down it to the city centers. These are all there's a bunch of sugarcane plantations and um, it's feeding our addiction to sugar in the western world. Very most dangerous drug in the world. It's killed more people than just about all the uh, illegal drugs combined. And so it's kind of interesting as to how we find something culturally acceptable that's more dangerous than something we frown upon, like say psilocybin mushrooms, something that can be very mentally um, healing and psychologically healing, at least in my case. Um, so it's just kind of an interesting perspective on our understanding of substances and chemical compounds.